Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Leslie and today I have an orthodontist appointment. Last week, we, no, four weeks ago, we did my refinements and this week my new set of trays are in so I'm going to go to that, pick those up and then go to work and then after work I'm going to come back and tell you how it went. So, um, I'm just going to put on a very light amount of makeup, nothing crazy, just a little BB cream. I do need to do my vitamin C and stuff. So, as far as refinements go for Invisalign, basically what they're doing is taking another 3D scan of your teeth because by this point they've shifted pretty well and it's time to just kind of fine tune. You've done the hard part, I would hope. Um, and now it's just kind of making sure all the gaps are closed and the teeth are, you know, pushed back or up or whatever they're supposed to do. Um, and I did not do good during Christmas. <laughs> I did a lot of grazing. There's food everywhere, you know. So between November and December, I wasn't wearing. I was not wearing my trays like I should have been. And. my teeth had not shifted to where they had needed to be. So I told him it's fine. I'm gonna, you know, get myself caught up and I put myself through pain for a few, quite a few days and moved up, moved up, moved up. And now I'm in the final tray. They, the last, I think another reason why I stopped wearing them as much is because they weren't fitting right. Like I have this horrible lisp, and there's uh, they're not seated up against my teeth no matter how long I wear them. I wore tray 27 for like two weeks trying to get it to do right, and it it got better, but I couldn't get the thing to do right. So I don't know. So, A, I hope I haven't messed up anything by my teeth not being where they were supposed to be by that point. Um, I don't think I was that far behind. I think I was only a couple of trays behind. So I was able to pretty much get that caught up pretty fast. And we'll see. We'll find out today. Now, he said my treatment would take anywhere from 12 to 18 months. I'm hoping for the 12 month mark because, excuse me, because it's getting kind of old at this point. We're going to use this one, but if I have to go to September instead of June, I just do what I have to do, but I know that I'm not going to allow myself to keep them out as much as I did during Christmas because I paid for that. <laughs> All right, sir, I need you to not be right there. I know you want the water, but we're not. All right, so today what we're going to do is we're going to put a little of this on the eyes and the cheeks and call it a day.
because we don't have time. Because we laid in the bed and looked at videos all morning instead of getting out of the bed. So great. So now we're rushing. Story of my life. Okay, we're going to take the bronzing. Can't find any of my brushes right now, and that's fine. Everything's fine. Just gonna take a little bit of extra. We got that. Call that a day. Excuse me. I'm in a rush, sir, and I don't have time for you when you're running the water. Just guessing, just guessing where the eyelashes are because can't see and the cat is in my way. So, you know, we just hope we don't take our eye out. I know I haven't done a lot of updates on my Invisalign. It's not really a lot going on. You don't, you just change your trays every week, every two weeks, whatever they tell you to do. And then, um, then you go in for refinements like halfway through and get your last set of trays, you know, I was on 31, I think I have to go to 60 something, so there's like, you know, 30 more I have to go through, I don't know, we'll find out, mm -hmm. yay me, alright, alright, thank you, bye-bye, bye-bye, Hold out, so I do want to dry my hair a bit. So that. That's what we have for the day. Okay? I'll see you after work and let you know what the orthodontist said. Hi everyone. I'm back from work now. So I have my new trays in. Oh, they are so much, so much better. Um, I couldn't figure out what felt different about them. I thought maybe it was just the way you know, like they felt thinner or something in the back up, up um, mm, in the top row of my teeth. It felt like it was really thin or so. It just felt weird. I don't have my teeth guards or the bump, bumper guards. I had those for the first few months. So, um, my teeth are moving well. They, they've added two new attachments to the very far back bottom teeth. So we've gotten that top part of the tooth 
to move over enough to look like there was no tooth pulled and now I think what this is going to do is move the bottom parts of it to help close this gap at the bottom. Right in there. Um, the upper row is pretty much straight. This tooth is the one I hate the most. Um, it needs to be pushed back a little bit more but it doesn't feel like they're concentrating on this as much as they are down here. Like I can feel a little, a little pain in through here um, and the top is fine. So the appointment went well. Um, my remaining balance, I think I have like 600 more dollars to pay and then I'll be done and I'm really excited. Um, I also got 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 more trays. Um, and then I guess we'll see where we are from there. Um, but yeah, it was a pretty easy appointment. They just had to put the chemical on that uh, kind of cleans the surface of your tooth and preps it for the glue. Then they put the, um, it's almost like a liquid sandpaper that kind of roughens up your tooth enamel. Not, uh, well, I guess not the tooth enamel. I don't know what it does, but it just kind of roughens it up so that glue can, you know, just kind of like you file a nail. Nothing major. Um, then they put in the, the trays that create, she puts the bond or whatever inside of the tray in a little bump and put the trays in and then put the UV light on it to make it harden and then took it out. Did We did one side at a time because <laughs> my mouth is not big at all and so, yeah, we just did one side at a time, did this side, put my new trays in, and then I asked the orthodontist, I said, you know, the last few rounds, they just weren't fitting right. I couldn't get them seated, you know, up against my teeth, and I kept chewing and chewing and, you know, doing all that. I said, you know, what do I do if that happens? And he said, just call the office. It just needs an adjustment. So... I know to do that this time if it happens again, but the overall overall appointment went well. Um, no pain, a little bit of tenderness in these front teeth, but that's always the case when I change trays because that's where the most movement is really happening. So that's the update on the orthodontics, the Invisalign. Um, I have my next appointment in April, so I'll probably give you an update around then. Uh, just weekly, monthly, is just, it's not really much to report, you know. You, you put a new tray in once a week, you brush them after every meal, you take them out for meals, then you brush your teeth, brush your trays, put them back in. You have to wear them for 22 hours. Did not do that during Christmas because I was grazing like a dang cow. So, we're back on track. Everything is good. And I'll see you for another update in April. Bye.